Okay, it has finally arrived. The Stargazer cast iron 10.5-inch uh, skillet. I ordered mine in seasoned. Uh, I think there's another video out there on uh, the bare version. So this might be the one and only uh, opening of a Stargazer uh, cast iron skillet seasoned. And uh, we'll uh, open it up and cook something and uh, see how it performs. So the story here is uh, this was a Kickstarter, pretty neat guy who, um, you know, he'll tell you in his video, he just wasn't satisfied with uh, what was available on the market. So he decided to make his own pan. <clears throat> and I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, so that is one reason why uh, I just had to have it. So it comes uh, wrapped. Obviously it's not all oily because it's uh, been seasoned by them. Usually when I order pans, I order them uh, seasoned. You know, they, uh, they do them in, uh, you know, I don't know. They're just always even and, and pretty nice. Got a little surprise here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, Crisby Puck, manufactured exclusively for Stargazer. So this is a, uh, a uh, oil block, basically, that you would wipe in the pan to continue to season it. Um, so that's kind of a cool added bonus. Didn't expect that. Always nice when you get something for free. And here we have a uh, little card. Facebook, Instagram, after use, wash, cast iron and dry, little instructions. And then uh, season in a 200 degree oven. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. Heat oven to 400 degrees. So heat it up to 200, put the oil on it, and then uh, in the oven at 400 for an hour. That's interesting because uh, my, my carbon steel pans recommend uh, 500 uh, for an hour. Anyway, it's wrapped pretty nicely. Box was in perfect condition. Let's see what we have here. Wow. You know, that's just, that is amazing. So we've got Stargazer, made in USA. The uh, product number, I guess, there, 10.5 inch. And the finish is just completely smooth. Now, something that sets Stargazer apart is uh, the cool touch handle and they've machined the entire inside. So the outside has the traditional texture. In fact, it's way smoother right out of the, right out of the box than you would get on like say a Lodge or some other mass produced skillet. It's lighter weight for the size, significantly lighter weight. You can feel how they've taken down the material here on the side and the bottom actually feels thicker than the sides. So there's some engineering going on there. But what they've done is put this pan on a lathe, the entire pan, and spun it uh, to completely machine the inside. So it's, it's very smooth, but it's not so smooth that, that you would think that it's not going to hold seasoning. And then it's got this nice handle on the end here. I assume this would probably get pretty hot. Uh, but my experience with these is uh, anything that's forked stays cool to the touch, and you don't really need a uh, hot pad to hold on to it. It's got a little character something or other going on right there, which, uh, you know, my money's on that is a defect, uh, but I don't think I mind. It gives it a little character, but it is some kind of little hole right there. Uh, the thumb area here, I mean, it's a great handle. It feels really comfortable. It could be a little longer, I guess, but, you know, if you're sticking it in a smaller oven, I can see why you would want the short handle. And this is different from most of the pans I have. Most of the pans I have have much longer handles, so this will be a, a welcome change. Anyway, um, I'm gonna rinse it off just to make myself feel better, and then let's cook something. We'll get the oven going. So I'm just, just rinse it with a little water, and I'm gonna dry it out with a Paper, uh, paper towel. 
And I'm just gonna cook some eggs. And see how well the very first round of seasoning from the factory, you know, the egg test is, is just classic. Um, classic example of, uh, of either well-seasoned or well-engineered product, or in this case, hopefully both. So we'll let that heat up. I'm not gonna let it smoke, but I am gonna let it get hot enough so you start to see those ripples. And this is real time, so I mean, I guess you could count down yourself. I've got the burner here on nine, eight and a half, nine. This is completely cool to the touch. So is this one. Feel a little heat around the edges here, but uh, I can see my oil is plenty hot enough. This is probably gonna make a little bit of a mess. Uh, I think I'll cool it off just a little. And let's see how this egg does. So I'm going to turn it down a bit, just as I would. All right, well, right out of the box. We've got a little uh, little sticking. Now I have received some pans from some other companies like uh, like Blue Skillet and Blanc Creatives that the egg has just right out of the pan or right out of the box just floated freely. So clearly we're going to need a little seasoning little extra seasoning to get this to, uh, to perform. But I can tell you, you know, it's very light, very lightweight. It's almost like cooking with a, with a steel pan. Uh, the handle's still very cool. And uh, this is not happening, so. So I am going to have to uh, season this a few times. I think I'll season it with uh, with some black seed oil. And um, I don't think I'm going to season the whole pan because I do like the look of the outside here. So what I'm going to do, just as you would with a steel pan, is uh, I'll season the inside. Um, we are not going to get this to float around. So uh, I'm going to clean this up and um, and season it a little bit and give you all an example of, well, there's some hope, you know, we got a little bit out here on the edges. Uh, but let's go ahead and season it two or three times and uh, test it out again. Okay, we're clean again. I wanna show you what I used. I used this uh, stainless steel mesh thing that I uh, got on Amazon. It says Scrubber Pro. Clearly that is not stainless, so that is going in the trash, uh, but looks like everything else is holding up. This thing is about a year old, <clears throat> and um, it's great for just scrubbing the heck out of a pan where you don't want to transfer any uh, metal that would rust, and uh, you can see I had to scrub it to get that egg stain out. So uh, my seasoning process is just to heat up the pan. I use flaxseed oil. It's a nice thick oil and uh, bonds really well. Pretty high burn point. Put a little, uh, a little in there and swish it around with a paper towel. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides too, but you can see that smoke, that's exactly what I want. And uh, this is a bit of a process. So I like to get a pretty good smoke going. So we'll leave it there for a little bit. 
I'm gonna turn the fan on. I actually usually do this outside on the outside kitchen, but uh, that pan will get really dark after about seven or eight coats of this. So you can see we've got some smoke going on. Just make sure it's even. Want any any globs or anything? So thin coats are better. Let's see, it's heating up a little bit in the middle there. So I'm just gonna add just a just a drop in the middle. A little extra right there. Even it out. And you can see I got that good smoke going on. You can see the darker spot in the middle, pretty typical of a glass top. It's exactly what I want. And uh, this is smoking, it's just smoking pretty good now. I think you can see it on the video. And what I'll, uh, what I'll do is let this cool completely. And uh, once it's completely cool, I'll do this process again, uh, it, probably at least five times. Okay, pan is cooled down. <clears throat> and just for kicks, I, uh, I think I'll use this Crispy Puck. First time, not really sure what to expect. It doesn't, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can go, uh, well, that was probably a bit much. But let's, uh, let's rub it around and, and see what happens. And Oh, wow, it smokes fast. You know, I found it doesn't matter if you go between flax oil and coconut oil or, or uh, yeah, I got a lot in there. If you go between flax oil and coconut oil or, um, you know, they make some uh, blends that I use pretty frequently uh, from Amazon. I got way too much in there. So I'm just going to wipe it out. I'm going to wipe more around the edges because I do want to season the center more. Uh, but I don't want any any globs of uh, burnt oil on there. Smokes up quick. Has a nice smell to it. I'll tell you, it smells a lot better than flax oil. All right, number two. We'll let it sit and cool, and just keep keep coating it. Okay, here we are after uh, four four times. And while we're waiting for it to cool down, I thought I'd mention you also get a use and care guide. Kind of well thought out. I will uh, read every word of this. And you get 15% off your next order, which is pretty cool. And I gotta tell you, at priced at 88 bucks, I think, for unseasoned, maybe it was a little more for seasoned. Um, something like $10 shipping or something. I mean, it's this this, this guy doesn't know what he has here because these pans could easily go for 150 bucks. Um, this is uh, the closest thing to carbon steel in cast iron uh, that, that I've ever used. Really impressed with the weight. And as I'm heating it up to uh, take care of that extra seasoning, uh, the pan doesn't flex at all. It stays perfectly flat. Another thing I wanted to mention is uh, they pride themselves on this lip. So some of the lodge pans of a similar size, you'll, they have a pour spout. This doesn't, you know, you could pour from pretty much anywhere. And uh, it also has a pretty good, I'm gonna show you this. I wanna just show you the uh, angle here. So if you're, if you're uh, you know, spooning uh, some sauce on, a, on some meat, <laughs> the spoon is the exact this is just your typical, this is my spoon, typical spoon. It's the exact diameter of the corner of the pan. It is, it is exact. You'll get every drop. <laughs> I don't know if that was on purpose, but that is cool. Okay, going back and forth between uh, flax seed oil and this puck. I've never used one of these. You know, I gotta tell you, it's nice. It smokes too quickly. I uh, I Googled it. It seems like it's mostly beeswax, but yeah, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing when I'm done with it. It's a little bit of a mess. It smokes almost immediately Whoop, and drips. And uh, so, you know, it's nice, but I think I'll stick with, uh, I think I'll stick with flaxseed oil, um, 
for doing this type of seasoning. And then I use, uh, I use this. Uh, this is just, you know, you can see it's really liquidy. And uh, it comes off Amazon. It's, some, it's called cast iron oil. It's some kind of cotton seed, sunflower seed, and coconut oil blend. And it's fantastic for everyday seasoning. If you're like me and you hit these pans with a little oil and smoke it off after every cooking, this product, I'll, I'll put it in the link. This product has been fantastic. I transferred it into this little ketchup thing. I put the paper towel around it because it gets all oily. Uh, but um, but that has uh, really worked well with the rest of my pans for everyday use. So if you start to get a little bit of unevenness, you can see it's a little darker here. We're starting to work out from the center. Uh, I usually just uh, put the pan on the edge a little bit so I can bring this dark mark wider and even. I don't know if it matters. It sure looks nice and it's really easy to do. You know, you just heat up half the pan. And uh, that's probably my burner. In fact, I'm sure it's my burner. You can see where the, co the coils are connected. So I could probably accomplish the same thing if I would just turn this, but this process works really good also. Okay, <clears throat> got about four, maybe uh, five seasonings on here, and let's try this, try this egg thing again. <clears throat> You know, you just can't get a fried egg to do this in a Teflon pan. I mean, look at that. This, look at that. It's like almost, almost nonstick. I mean, it's fantastic. We're going to have some uh, good fortune with this one. So basically that was, I don't know, four, I think five coats of alternating between this stuff and the flaxseed oil and, um, you know, I didn't let the pan really cool every time. Um, I, uh, you saw it, you know, just smoked it up and then uh, let it cool to the touch. And I have to tell you, this handle is eh, toasty warm, but not something you can't touch. So there you have it. I love this pan. How do you like that? Day one, maybe five coats of oil. And we've got eggs rolling around in cast iron. All right, well, thank you, Stargazer, for a fantastic product. I am very impressed, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.